Massachusetts with his wrestling ellies. We are watching our two cubs who appear to have tired themselves out and are now resting high up in the branches of a tree. Safe and sound and distinctly uncomfortable looking. Both of them have taken opposite sides of this large and kuhuma tree, or brown ivory tree, and have settled on either end on the thinnest branches they could possibly find. It seems as though they went for flat rather than sort of bulk or width to keep them supported. I was just thinking about it with James's wrestling elephants and thinking that if leopards did any kind of a human sport, parkour would definitely be theirs. That is what they would excel at. Wild dogs, of course, would be long distance running. But undoubtedly, leopards would be parkour champions. The way that they jump and move from tree to termite mound, leaping over obstacles. It must be wonderful to be that agile. Look at her little feet dangling down. I don't know how on earth she can feel secure like that. That branch is, <clears throat> I would say, not much wider than a leopard's tail. And now she's resting her full weight on there. It can't feel very secure. Nevertheless, she seems to be happy. And very, very sleepy. I think that's that for our little leopard cubs for the morning. That's them done. It seems they follow a pattern every morning that we see them. The first two hours or so of frantic playing and then exhausted sleeping. I mean, look at him. He looks like a toddler that's fallen asleep while it's been playing, just out of sheer exhaustion. Yes, was it a tough morning pushing your sister out of the tree?